Hey friends, it's now Sunday. It's uh, about to be noon. We are heading out for the day. We're going to brunch for Maddie's birthday. Later today, we're going to Everyday People Party, which is like this outdoor rooftop type party. I'm probably gonna vlog the rest of the day on my phone, so stay tuned for Sunday fun day. Oh, and happy birthday, Maddie. My best friend, love her so much. She's 35, so that's what we're celebrating. That's why we're here and we're excited to spend the day celebrating her. Let's do a quick OOTD, if you don't mind, babe, give me first. All right, so this mesh top is from H&M. This bandeau is Target. The skirt is really old, I don't know where it's from. And then I'm wearing my New Balances because comfort in New York City. Yeah, so this is the OOTD. Looks good. Oh, my bag. LB's was a gift from my friend April. Thank you, April. And that's it. Let's see, the top is from Zara. T-shirt from, I think, H&M. Um, shorts, don't even know. Shoes, Prada. Probably my shades are Retro Super Future. Bag is the, um, it's from Brooklyn Museum. The Virgil exhibition that they have going on. So we are about to head out and hopefully have a great day. Love this camera. I'm sad I'm not bringing it, but it's just a little too big to move around and this party we're going to and stuff, so. Sorry about the iPhone footage, but it's better than nothing. Okay guys, so my husband got us these coffees back over by our hotel in Tribeca. And so I was still getting ready and he went to go get them. And when he came back, he's like, do you think this is like, it's like a cannabis cafe. He's like, do you think this is infused with cannabis? And I was like, I don't know, it tasted it and it was really weird, really bitter. So we tried to add some like simple syrup to make it like a little sweeter, but it just like wasn't it. And so I called the place. I'm like, hey, do you guys infuse your coffee with cannabis? And they're like, oh no, it's just an option to add CBD oil. I don't know nothing about that, you know? So I was like, is that how it works? Like, is there weed in my coffee? But mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just not it. So now we came to Brooklyn. We took an Uber here to go to brunch and there's a coffee shop nearby. So we're gonna trash these and get another coffee. Yeah, definitely you know, about to dump these. We never really have bad coffee, but this one's just bad. You can't win them all. Nope. this one it's really good sweet this is how it's supposed to taste okay good. not too sweet so we only got one just to be safe we're gonna share this little one and head to the brunch spot so we got an iced vanilla with oat good that's how it should taste this is where we're having brunch it happens like in this little courtyard it's super cute well, I don't know if it's a courtyard, but it's like the outdoor type area.
at a hotel. Yes. The night is still young. Fair, we're gonna eat. I'm feeling Italian. And then I'm kind of feeling tacos. But I'm like, you can get tacos anywhere. So exactly. why not just get Italian here? Yeah, I don't know if New York is known for their tacos. Yeah, I'm cool. West Coast. Maybe some Italian? Definitely West Coast too. Yeah, Italian sounds good. We're just gonna freshen up and go get some food. Did you have fun today? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that scared me. I always say something to them about that. Yeah. You know, I'll I'm trying to find this restaurant and we're lost. We literally just heard like a bunch of squeaks and there's a whole family of mice over here. Oh my god. I've never seen mice. I don't know if they're mice, rats, what. But there were like four of them. I feel like we should get out of these streets. I'm a little scared. We're trying to find food, but I'm like the rats are trying Struggling. to find food too. Yeah, that's like, uh, our, that's like eight rats. Hell no, we gotta get up out of here. All right, we're trying to find food. Wish us luck. All right, guys. So we finally found somewhere we want to eat. Um, we're having we're here at a place called what's the name of it? Uh, Can't remember. It's, a, it's an Italian place. I got. Um, it's ten o'clock, by the way. Yeah, it's ten o'clock. So a lot of places were closed. Show them how this oh, the street's nice. just out here eating. Yeah, it's like 10 o'clock at night. Eight o'clock. So yeah, we're about to have some Italian food. I'm pretty excited. Um, I got lobster ravioli. Alice got lasagna. So, should be good. It's Italian style. We're excited and we're hungry. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we got our dinner. So I got ravioli, we got some garlic bread, and my husband got the lab lobster ravioli. About to enjoy our dinner. It looks good. In Little Italy. Little Italy. Italian food in Little Italy. Look at this store that I just came across. Christmas in New York. What? They've got like Christmas trees and decorations. Wow. That's crazy. Here's this little uh, dessert place. It's like a cafe. I'm gonna get like a cannoli or some gelato. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna get some gelato. Think whatever this is looks really good. Let's give it a try. He said this is their like most popular flavor. Wow. It's really sour but really good. I got a cannoli. Probably try it later. We get back to the room. Morning friends, it's just before 11 on Monday. We are all packed up getting ready to check out of our hotel room. Super sad because we're going to miss these views of New York City. Our flight leaves at 3.50, so we have a couple hours before we have to head to the airport. We're probably just going to hang around the hotel, find some breakfast and coffee, and then slowly make our way over to Queens. It's been a pretty good trip. Um, honestly, it feels like we've been here for a week. It does. Because we've just done so much every day. Really busy, but it's been nice. It's been a lot of fun. We've done a lot. I am a little ready to go home. Miss our dogs, I'm a little exhausted. But yes. New York is always a good time, but it definitely tires you out, for sure. Yeah. Especially when you're doing a lot each day. <laughs> it's literally like three days in one. Yeah. Bro. It's crazy. It's been crazy, but we've had a great time. Loved celebrating Maddie, seeing her. We haven't seen her in a couple years. My bad. Where do we see her? Oh, in Phoenix. Yeah. What is life? Okay. Well, we're going to head out, and yeah, we'll check in when we get some breakfast because I'm hungry. I'm gonna try this cannoli because I don't want to have to pack it. Our, our suitcases and our bags are like completely packed. From Cafe Palermo. I got just a regular. Cannoli. I don't think I've ever had a cannoli before and it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm having dessert but you know we're in New York City.
It's pretty good. It's just like um sweet. It's like a little fried thing. It looks sweet. Just like pure icing. Very good. Also, we went to Little Italy for dinner last night. Best service I've had in a long time. Those Italians are so nice. It was incredible. There were more than just Italians, I think, but you could tell a lot of their accents sounded very strong New York Italians. But it was a, an amazing experience. They were so nice and really attentive and just really cool. So that was great. Honestly, I feel like everywhere we've had really good service in New York. Everyone, like the people in the service industry have just been really nice and kind and overall good experiences. Do you agree? I definitely agree. It's been very good for New Yorkers. Mm-hmm. And I feel like they get a bad rep for being rude and this and that. And that may be the case in some areas, but yeah, as far as our um, experience, it was really good. Yeah, especially last night. Like last night, man, they were like on it. Mm-hmm. Like, and not, they weren't even being like annoying or doing too much. Like you can tell it was genuinely, it's just genuinely had good service. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so if you ever come to New York, definitely check out Little Italy. It's really cool. They have a bunch of Italian restaurants, really good food. So yeah, see you guys soon at breakfast. Found a little cafe right near our hotel. It's called Cafe Lafayette. We just got like a bagel and a breakfast wrap. About to enjoy our food. Sit right by the window because people watching in New York is a must. A lot of cream cheese. <laughs> it is a lot. Like double. Found this really cute coffee shop in Tribeca. It's called Think Coffee. It's raining outside, so we needed to come inside somewhere to escape the New York City rain. I'm having this amazing Spanish latte. Basically, it's just a latte with sweetened condensed milk. I didn't know that the term was Spanish latte, but. This is how I make my coffees at home, so I'm happy that they had the sweetened condensed milk. I haven't tried it yet, but my husband is having an oat milk caramel latte. I got almond milk, so let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. 